Number six, uh, determine whether each of the following bonds would be polar or nonpolar. Well, these are identical, so it's definitely going to be nonpolar. We've got a fairly large electronegativity difference between hydrogen and oxygen. If you don't believe me, you can go back and check uh, this out for you. Okay, this is the electronegativity uh, periodic table on page 151 in your textbook, um, I believe. So just flip it open. Don't guess. Look at the values. So that's going to be a pretty large, a pretty large electronegativity difference. So it's going to be polar. Uh, there's going to be a very large electronegativity difference between fluorine and hydrogen, since fluorine is the number one most electronegative um, element on the periodic table right here. 4.0 minus 2.1, that's 1.9. It's pretty large. Uh, bromine and bromine, that's nonpolar because they're identical. We have uh, hydrogen chlorine. Chlorine over here at 3.0, right? That's going to be uh, 2.1 for hydrogen. So we're going to have a 0.9 difference. So that's going to be polar. And then nitrogen coming in at 3.0 again, right? So the difference is going to be uh, 0.9. Again, that's going to make it polar. This one isn't new, guys. This one isn't new at all. This is using electronegativity differences to see which atom the electrons are going to spend more time around.